Every morning, Rodoyson checks his fish pen. He's been a fisherman almost all of his life and has recently moved to Manila. Fishing has always been difficult in the provinces, but he says it's far more challenging in the capital. The current is not so strong today. My fish pen has no garbage. Unlike when the waters are high, garbage is everywhere. The stench is overwhelming. Hundreds of Filipino fishermen depend on Manila Bay for their livelihood. They admit it is not an ideal place for fishing. Manila Bay is one of the most polluted areas in Manila, but they are left with no choice. Greenpeace says cleanup activities in Manila Bay show that disposable plastics used just once are one of the leading causes of pollution. It says the situation is similar all across the country, with giant companies and their customers polluting oceans with their plastic waste. In the Philippines, where the majority of people live below the poverty line, families are pushed to buy cheap goods in small quantities. The so-called sachet economy responds to the needs of Filipino consumers. But it has also made the country the third biggest polluter of oceans based on a Greenpeace study. China and Indonesia rank first and second. We don't have the enough like an infrastructure to manage our waste. We have a good law, the Ecological Solid Waste Management Law, but uh, we feel that it's not uh, implemented uh, properly in, uh, in uh, all uh, levels of the government. The government admits a national policy must be in place. We want that to be uh, banned, totally banned, the single-use plastic. Uh, all other packaging materials of similar uh, characteristics, we want that to be banned. Sunsets over Manila Bay are spectacular, but the Philippine capital is gaining an unwanted reputation for its wasted potential. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.